Okay, now since two things have happened here, the red has dried, and it also has hidden our pencil marks from earlier, so now I can take my brush with some white on it, and I can just basically start to revise this to make it look a little bit less, like, blocky, and a little bit better, if you will. I might have to paint a little bit more on the logo, but at least I finally got rid of like those nasty pencil marks because they were pretty hard and they were, um, how do I want to say it? They really showed up really well. I mean, it's great when you're actually trying to paint the logo, but you know, when you want to get rid of the pencil marks to not show your work, if you will, then it's a little bit bad but yeah I'm basically just gonna keep going around this and I'm gonna get it a bit better like that Mario and um, then I'll be back once I revise this a bit and um, hopefully we'll have a decent looking logo but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get on top of that and you'll see I I definitely helped the border on his eyes a bit but eh, it needs a little bit more touch-up but that's the problem when you have like a lot of uh, detail in a character You'll find yourself touching up stuff all the time. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that now, and I'll be right back. Okay, well, I did a bit of a revision on the logo. It's looking a bit better, but it still needs more work, but some paint's got to dry. But while I'm at it, I figure I might as well just go ahead and do the touch-up on the blue here, where the buttons are, and just kind of smooth this out so it's not as bad. Because you'll notice, like, when I did my initial painting here, I went a bit too far with the gray and, of course, the eventual gold that I used just to clean this up and just make it look good. And as I said, especially with that logo and it, it being a fine detail, you can go ahead and do these these uh, this painting over and over again as many times as you want to do. And you won't really have too much of a problem. As long as you're not, like, building a mountain of uh, paint touch-up in any given area, you'll be okay. But it's kind of one of those things. The more you paint, the more you'll get used to, like, um, touch-up and kind of just getting into an area and making it look pretty nice. But, yeah, that's pretty good. I'll get back in there and do a bit more after that. But... What I'm going to do next, oh, it's right here, nice, is try that golden brown I was mentioning earlier on the shoes. So I just got to get a few bottles of paint out of my way here, and then I'll throw a bunch of that in the uh, paint thing here. Here's the golden brown, see? And we'll see how that fares on the shoes. I'm just going to do it on like the, the front surface of the shoes so we can see what it looks like because you'll see theirs are really light and I think that looks pretty cool especially because I don't want his shoes to be the same color as his hair because that's kind of weird. I mean when's the last time you had shoes that matched your hair? But yeah let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take this fairly large brush I have here just kind of blot it a bit make sure. The thing I like to do is it might be a weird thing to do, but I'll brush it on my hand to make sure that the uh, color's not coming off. Sometimes you could even do it like on the paper here. But yeah, just to make sure whatever paint is on that brush is not coming off and therefore going to get on your model. So let's go ahead and we're going to just dip it in some paint here and just see how that looks. This may be how they end up. This may be a terrible mistake that I will undo because I've had that happen before where I've been... I painted something, and I'm like, oh my god, that looks horrible. And then I completely undo it like five minutes later. Because you never know. It's kind of one of those things. You look at a color, and you think to yourself, that color's going to look good on that part of the model. And then you actually go do it, and um, yeah, it looks terribly bad, and you don't like it. But so far, I'm kind of liking how this looks. I might darken the color in further revisions, but for now, it's looking kind of cool. And I think it makes Mario's shoes like stick out a bit but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting these touch them up a bit and um, 
see how it dries because the one thing to remember is a lot of times paint will go on lighter than it eventually dries so you can't assume when you first paint it on that's what it's going to look like but I'm going to go ahead and do that and just paint the details here and get it all nice and done and we'll see how it dries up. Okay, we're back again, and I did do the uh, shoes in that golden brown color, and I think they came out rather good. I think the color is actually rather perfect. I did revise the hands a little bit, as they look a little bit more white now. One thing I'm really going to try to do right now, I'm at least going to try my best, is revise Mario's M logo just a little bit. It's not bad, it's just that it needs a bit more, so... Now since all the paint is dry, we're just going to kind of go over this very lightly and just make it look a little bit stronger. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's kind of one of those things. It's a painted thing on a piece of plastic. It's never going to truly be perfect, if you will. And of course, if I have to come back and revise this again, it's no big deal because as I've made mention in my previous pieces of this video, you can pretty much revise it as many times as you want, but that's pretty good. And other than that, what I will do is I will come back and do the shoes a bit more, a bit more touch up on his general outfit and his head. Not really much, just a little bit here and there, but we're we're pretty much getting to that point. Like, for instance, you'll notice around his neckline, there's a little bit of flesh color paint that's here that shouldn't be here. There's a little bit of white there. So, basically, what I'm going to do is let that dry, deal with some of the extra touch-up, and then I will be back with you. Okay, and after hours and hours of touch-up all over Mario's body... Um, yeah, as you can see, we're basically there now. And then the next step to this process is to use this stuff here, which is the clear coating spray that will get sprayed all over Mario. And then it will seal in all the paint so it doesn't um, come off like with the slightest touch of somebody's hand. So uh, I'll be right back with you in just a minute here and we will go outside and do the first coat of clear coat. And I'll just show you really quick how that's done. Okay, now this process is relatively simple. You just take your clear your clear paint here, and you basically just spray an even coat. I'll show you a little bit on Mario here. I'm not going to do the whole thing on camera because uh, it's a bit of a hectic process. You just have to keep spraying until you got a nice clear coat. Give it an hour. Do it again. At least two solid coats on the character, if not more. But like basically all you're doing is this. You want protection on your hands, protection on your eyes, and any other surfaces. That's why I got the printer paper down here. But I'm going to go ahead and finish these, and um, I'll show you the final result once we're fully done. Just wanted to show you that that's the first coat of clear. You'll notice everything is kind of shiny, and that kind of means that he's coated well. So now we just give it about an hour, hour and a half to let him dry, and then I'll apply another coat. And then usually what I'll do is I'll lay them on their backs and I'll put it on their feet because obviously we can't put it on their feet when they're standing. So I'll get back to you once I'm completely done this because I'm just going to do a few more coats just like that. It's not going to be exciting to watch. And then uh, guess what? Mario will be completely done as well as a couple other characters here. Two are just my regular figures. Another one's another gift which will be featured in another video. But let's go ahead and do that and uh, get it all done and of course I just realized I probably have to get under Mario's hat which probably got missed on the first sweep but I'll just get it really quick and then let it dry for at least an hour okay now it's been just over an hour so what we're gonna basically do now is take a look at the figures try not to let them stick on the plastic too much and look for areas that are not covered so well so you can get them better because of course 
when we first sprayed him, Mario's back didn't get done as well. It's not really bad though. Like the areas over here, any of the areas that are a little bit of drip here, but not bad. But yeah, really good coat actually. But I'll give it one more and I'll start with the back. The front looks pretty good, but we're going to go ahead and grab our paint, do it again. And um, then once he's done for his second coat, if everything's okay, I'll just lay him down and spray the bottom of his feet. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. And I will be back with you once the second coat is drying. But as you can see, the hat's not as shiny. The arm is more shiny. So that's how you can kind of tell how thick or thin your coats are. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and uh, yeah, get done with it. Okay, well this should be the final round. It's actually kind of dark now. So we're just gonna take a look at Mario here and see how he is. See if there's any like major areas I missed. And as you can kind of see, he's looking nice and shiny. That's what you're looking for, because that gives him that like professional looking finish, because that's what we're we're aiming for here. Just looking for any major drips or anything. A little bit here, it's not too bad though. And just to make sure we didn't miss any areas, you'll see his ears are even shining. The area behind his ear is not the best, but it's not bad. And now, just gotta look for like armpits. So now what I'm going to do, put the camera down for a sec, and then we're just going to lay him on his back. And the only thing i got to do now with any of these guys, I'm going to take a look at all of them here. Yep. And the, well you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm checking all the figures that I'm doing today. And moving them after they've been sprayed is a little bit hard because the um, joints may have locked a little bit and of course once I have them inside later I'll be able to check them a bit more but for the most part all we really have to do is spray the bottom of Mario's feet and any of the other characters and uh, call it a day so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and the last piece of this video will be our basic final result. So I'll be right back with you then. Okay, it's now a few days later, and here is our finished result. The only thing I had to do was, right now the flash is on, so that's why it's kind of shining up the uh, character, but the only thing I had to do is on the cheeks here, the... Um, the clear coat kind of ran a little bit and got kind of yellow, so I kind of rubbed it off with my finger, repainted the cheeks, uh, the flesh color again, and um, then um, resprayed it. The mushroom was a little dingy, so I gave it another clear coat when I was doing some of the other figures that I was working on for Christmas. But all in all, this Mario um, turned out really well. He's like about two feet tall. This is like double the normal size that it was. Um, if I didn't show it in any of the videos already, I will include a link. When I first got this, the model was free. But now the guy, at this point, the guy's offering it like in a two for one deal with Luigi for $1.99. But by the time you're seeing this last part of the video, I'm sure he'll have this back to like $1.99 just for this. But when I really think about it, $1.99 for this model that required no uh, supports is not a bad deal. And I'll include a link to the guy's Colt profile, Colt 3D, so everyone can see that. But yeah, that's our finished Mario. The only thing is, is the mushroom is glued in. If I were to do this again, I would have definitely put like a, a piece of coat hanger in there to hold it because... If you grab it by the mushroom, it will come off, even with super glue. But, you know, it's kind of one of those things. Grab him by his waist, grab him by his leg, because if you remember right, the body is one solid piece, and then the arms and the head were put on. But, um, yeah, I think he turned out really well. And actually today, when I'm filming this, is the 30th of December, 2023, and I'll be giving this away today. 
and I will probably put something in the actual video description on how how that went. But I'm sure he will be very pleased with this Mario. My nephew's getting this. And um, last year I made him a Sonic the Hedgehog. This year I made him a Mario. But yeah, that is all for this long series of, of videos about the uh, 3D printed Mario. And um, I will probably be back with other 3D printing videos. <laughs> Until later, bye.